Well, it's finally that time of the year. Brilliant long summer, loads and loads of fish being caught, but unfortunately, all good things have to come to an end. And as you can tell by the ground, leaves are starting to fall off the trees, weather's definitely taking a turn, and winter is well on its way. But for me, that means one thing, winter commercial silverfish fishing. So we thought it's a perfect time to get out on the bank before it all really kicks off and give you my top five tips on catching commercial silverfish. First up, and one thing that is really important, especially when it comes to match fishing for commercial silverfish, is targeting the right species of fish. Now, the one reason most people love to go silverfish fishing in winter is bites. Carp and F1 switch off, silverfish keep you getting bites. But getting bites off the right fish to catch the weight you're trying to achieve is really, really important. If 30, 40, 50 pounds winning a match and you can get a bite every cast off a roach this big, they're not really going to do you much good. They're not going to build the type of weight up you need. So look at the weights that are going to win your matches. If it's low, if 15 pounds winning, you don't want to be spending all match targeting them big fish if you can catch a small fish every chuck in. Likewise, if a big weight's winning, you need to be fishing for them quality weight building fish. So pay attention to what weight's going to win your match and pick your fish appropriately to that. So if you're fishing for big weights, fish like skimmers, chub, eyed, quality roach, you need to be looking at methods that are going to allow you to catch them species. Likewise, weights are lower, there's plenty of bites to be had off small fish, then light, strung out rigs, loose feeding maggots, loose feeding pinkies, fishing through the water and fishing for bites. Get your head down, take any bonuses as they'll come. Obviously, there's always that chance of a bonus fish, always feed a line somewhere maybe that'll be for some skimmers on a line with pellets and ground bait for example maybe you'll be throwing casters or worms in the edge for big perch but pay attention to the winning weights and make sure you're targeting fish that are going to make the easiest way possible of catching that weight that you're aiming for now one tip which is going to sound really surprising to most people and this tip is big hooks now silverfish are often associated with finesse little hooks fine wire hooks light lines but you'll put more fish in your net and you'll lose less fish fishing the biggest hook you can possibly get away with. Now my hook of choice generally at this time of the year is a 101 barbless in a spade end. I'll use that in a size 16 and a size 18. The bigger the hook I can get away with, the more fish I'm going to hook, the more efficient I'm going to become. And I've always found on commercial fisheries, even though you need to get the feeding right, get the fish competing, generally there's a lot of fish in your peg and you can get away with a much bigger hook than what you can do on a natural water venue that's generally much clearer probably not quite as many fish so stick with the biggest hook you can possibly use you'll hook more fish lose less fish and put more fish in your net with all fishing but particularly fishing for silvers on commercials timing is absolutely essential and by that i mean getting the time of fishing your lines right fishing in the right parts of your peg at the right time of the day now when it comes to catching quality silver fishing especially on more difficult days you'll always find fish like quality skimmers big roach like to feed late in the day as the light starts to drop so by timing things right you can make the most of the early stages of your session maybe catch plenty of fish target everything that swims lots of small fish and maybe an odd bonus as it comes into that later spell when the fish want to feed you need to be fishing in the right place at the right time like i said last 40 minutes last hour them quality fish will often feed and where are you going to catch them I always like to feed a line where I'm maybe going to target skimmers if they're in the venue. Generally, that's going to be long pole, feeding little bits of ground bait, maybe some pellets, dead maggots and those type of things. What you need to remember is not to overdo that. If it isn't working early on, baits maybe not being it, top it up gently, keep it going. That last spell of the match when them quality fish will feed, you'll generally catch them. Likewise, if it's maybe big roach that had to target late on, short pole or even down the edge with a bait like casters you can feed that all day often not get a bite on it but do not give up on it that late stage of your session can produce loads of bites of big quality roach now while i'm talking about that being late in the session that's not always the best time to catch bonus fish often with fish like eyed chub and perch that are a little bit predatory you can catch them very early in your session they'll fade off later on as the light falls them feeding on site it isn't a great time to target them Often you can go straight in the edges, feed some casters or some worms and maybe catch some big perch straight away, get your session off to a great start. Likewise, fish like chub and hide. Today there's an island opposite me, great place to target early on when them big chub are feeding, them hide are feeding. You can go straight across there, get yourself off to a good start and then fall back on to catching other fish later on. So just think about what species you're fishing for 
What's the best time of the day for them and where you're going to target them? Commercial silverfish fishing for me is all about presentation, making sure you get your rig to fish exactly how you want. Now, come winter, the conditions are often changeable. Today it's really, really windy. And one thing that I think is really, really important when it comes to targeting silverfish is using the correct main lines on my rigs. Now, I know it's sort of really popular these days to use a heavy main line that can last a few matches and catch you loads and loads of fish. You can get that rig set right and keep using it. In my personal opinion, when it comes to this silverfish fishing in winter, that is a totally wrong approach. I like a really light, really thin main line, and I'll generally use O10 or O11 FXT rig line. Now my thinking behind this is as the weather changes, it gets windy, that line's not catching the wind so much. The fish that I'm catching are never gonna be big enough to break that main line, meaning I can happily get away with a light line, meaning better presentation when I'm fishing with light floats dotted right down, a heavy line above my floats not going to affect it. I know that that rig's plenty strong enough for what I'm trying to do. If I have to use a fresh rig next match, then so be it. I can retie it and get ready for going again next match. It's been a long old summer, weather's been beautiful, and shallow fishing has accounted for loads and loads of fish. F1s, carp, silverfish, you name it. Them fish want to come shallow. They want to feed in the upper layers where everything's competing. Now it's winter, the fish are all on the bottom, and that's the place to catch them. That couldn't be more wrong. The best quality commercial fish will often feed up in the water, even on the very coldest of days. This lake where I am today, Alders Lake at the Oaks, I've had weights in excess of 50 pound in February, fishing probably 12 inches deep. Never ever discount shallow, whatever the weather is. These fish, you get a lot of them in your peg, you'll be loose feeding quite often, and they really start to compete and come up off the bottom. So the one thing that I would really put across as a great tip, is in winter, do not discount shallow, and especially if them fish you're fishing for are fish like roach, rudd, chub, and hide. They'll all come shallow, they'll all come off the bottom, and you'll often find the better quality fish, you can catch them a little bit quicker, and you can put a really good weight together in no time.